All right, this is the Types of Lenses Lab, and you should have your journal page kind of set up already to start with, looking similar to this page right here, um, with a line drawn down the middle, and then two perpendicular lines there. You won't have this guy, I'm gonna talk about that in just a second. Uh, the top section should be labeled light blue lens, and the bottom section should be labeled dark blue lens. And so I'm going to go through the process for each of the two different lenses. Once I have completed the entire diagram for each lens, you're gonna then sketch that in your journal. So the first thing that we have, uh, what I've done here with this box is I've taken this light blue lens, uh, light blue because of the casing around it, and I have centered it on the fold line and then the other line that I drew as well. And then I traced around it so that I can take it out and then put it back in place without having to recenter it necessarily uh, perfectly every time. So then I have a laser pointer in a holder. It's in a holder so that it um, stays nice and steady and straight. And then I just have this block here at the end. Um, and the block is so that I can see where the laser hits when it comes out the other side of the lens. So I'm going to show you that right now. What I'm going to do here is line up my laser holder so that it is pointing directly through the center of the lens. And then I'm going to mark four dots on my paper. The first one you won't be able to see because it's right up in front of the laser, but um, the other ones you will be able to see. So the first thing, you can see where the laser actually hits on my block here. And I'm gonna mark where the light comes out of the laser itself. I'm gonna just put a dot on my paper. And then I'm going to mark where the light is entering the lens. And you can see the laser hitting the side of my pen. If I had a pencil, uh, it would do the same thing. And so I wanna make sure that that laser uh, dot is centered directly on my pen before I make my mark. Then I'm gonna see where the laser comes out of the lens. And I'm gonna um, put a dot on the other side of the lens. And then right here where it's hitting the block, I'm gonna put another dot so that um, I can see where it came out. And I'm gonna do that five times in five different positions of the lens. So let me do that really quickly. So the first one went right through the center of the lens. The second one, I'm gonna go slightly off center, a little bit closer to the um, upper portion. And then a little bit farther up, so I'm pointing my laser really close to the outer edge of that lens. You want to see kind of the far reaches of how far uh, that light is going to bend. So I'll mark where it comes out of the laser, where it goes into the lens, where it comes out of the lens, and where it hits the block. Okay, now I've gone center and I've moved this direction. I'm going to go back the other direction now. I'm still slightly off center, but in the other way. So again, we have where it comes out of the laser, where it goes into the lens, where it comes out of the lens, and then where it hits the block or where it hits the end of the paper. And one more Again, kind of on the far edge of the lens, where it comes out, 
where it goes in, where it comes out, and then where it hits. All right, so now I'm going to turn my laser off so I'm not wasting my batteries. And I know it's a little bit tricky to see, but you can see I've got my dots here, 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 and here. And I've color coded my lines so that I can just put all my, or I've color coded my dots, excuse me, so that I can um, put all of my dots first and then go in and draw my line so I don't have to keep taking my lens off and on of the paper. So, <clears throat> what do we do now? Well, now we're going to connect our dots. And we know that our laser beam was shining, theoretically, in a perfectly straight line from where it came out of the laser itself into the lens. So these five lines, when I draw them, should be pretty close to um, parallel to each other. So we're going to start with those. And I'm actually going to draw my line from um, the laser line, this first line, all the way to this one that's right in the center of the lens and that's for a couple of reasons first of all when light rays um, bend through a lens they go all the way to the center of the lens before they do any bending um, and then the other reason is just so that it's nice and straight and even and connected and we want to be as careful as possible we want to make our lines as straight as we possibly can so always 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 use a straight edge and be as accurate as you possibly can so all the way from there to there I'm actually going to just do these five on this side first And then hopefully, based on where the other set of dots are, you can guess what's going to happen to these lines when they come out of the lens. But let's fill these in first. And like I said, always try and be as accurate as possible. We are all human, so we're never going to be 100% perfect but that doesn't mean we can't try. All right, so here's my five laser beams or my uh, light rays, and they're pretty parallel going into the lens. Now let's see what happens when they come out the other side. So I'm gonna connect, I'm gonna um, line up my two dots that I made, but I'm actually gonna connect my line starting at this lens line, the center of the lens, all the way out to the edge of the paper. And we can see right away, look at that outer edge beam is bending in toward the center of the lens. And so let's do the next one. Again, all the way from that lens line to the edge of the paper. This one goes pretty well down the center. And then two more here. And here. So, <clears throat> we can see that when the light rays came out the other side, um, or behind, excuse me, in front of the lens, they came together or they converged, okay? So for the light blue lens, our light rays are converging, okay? What does that mean about what kind of a lens it is? Is it convex or concave? check your notes and make sure you write that down 
um, when you do your sketch. Tell me, is this a concave or a convex lens? The next thing that we're going to do is to actually measure the focal length of this lens. Uh, of this lens. Now the focal length is the distance between the center of the lens and the point where all of those light rays converge. And if you look closely, you can see it's not perfect, but there's a pretty clear right about here um, space where they're all coming together. So we're going to take our best fit or our best guess and we're going to make a mark right here and call that the focal point. And then I'm just going to measure it in centimeters from the center of my lens or this lens line up to that mark that I made right there. And that is 16.2 centimeters. I know you can't see it on camera, so I'm just going to tell you 16.2 centimeters. So again, in your journal, in the section that is labeled light blue lens, you're going to just sketch what I've done here. So five parallel lines going into the lens and then five lines converging on the other side. Mark where the focal point is and put our measurement in there, 16.2 centimeters. The last thing you'll do for the light blue lens part is to tell me, is it a convex or a concave lens. Watch the next video video for the dark blue lens. Um, it's going to go a little bit faster because I am doing pretty much the same thing as far as like shining the laser through. So I'm just going to show you um, sort of the end result of what we get from the dark blue lens. So see you in the next video.